For those of you who have been playing Minecraft for as long as I have... Just start the video already! Okay, okay. Today's video is going to be about five external programs that can be used with Minecraft. Each have their own unique purpose, so let's go ahead and let's just get the list and the video started. Alright, first up is quite possibly one of the oldest programs that has ever existed for Minecraft, which is MC Edit. If you've ever heard of the concept of Minecraft schematics, that pretty much started with this program. With MC Edit, you can copy and paste large structures with minimal computer power, save those copied structures to a file and send it to other people if you'd like to, fill entire areas with a certain kind of block, run a plethora of built-in plugins like setting specific biomes to specific areas, create custom mob spawners, repair broken chunks, etc. You can also dive into the NBT information of the world and change the game rules, world seed, world type, and so much more. And yes, to some extent, MC Edit also supports Pocket Edition Worlds. Overall, MC Edit is the most robust piece of software that Minecraft has since you can do so much with it. Alright, number two is Miners Need Cool Shoes. This is a website that has a few functions, but I want to focus on just one, which is its skin editor. For the most part, it has everything that you'll need to make a skin and a whole lot more. You can do all of the simple stuff like painting on specific colors onto specific spots and disable viewing different parts of the skin so that you can make sure that you're painting the right part, but you can also work with layers. So let's say you want to put a coat on your character or something, you don't need to potentially mess up what's already on the skin and start all over. Just create a new layer, and if you don't like it, then get rid of it and try again. I also really like what's called Camo Mode, which allows you to paint many different variations of a single color all at once. It's a really good and simple way to avoid just having a single color on a particular part of the skin if you are making a skin really quickly. Alright, number three is a program called Amidst. This one does one thing really well. It allows you to see a top-down view of how any Minecraft seed will spawn, and it allows you to see where every single structure will spawn within that world as well. Are you going for the All Biomes achievement like I detailed in this video? Well, good. Amidst is one of the best programs for that. Are you trying to find all of the desert temples near you on search for the Notch Apple? Want to quickly go through a bunch of seeds to see which one will spawn you in a Mesa biome? When it comes to any Anything Minecraft seed related, Amidst has you covered. So the last two items on this list I'm going to go over pretty quickly. One of them I reviewed recently, and the other I don't have a whole lot of personal experience with, but I know how good it is from other people's experience with the program. The first one is Minimator. I made a video about this one very recently if you want to check out that video. But one thing this program can be all around very useful for in the long run that I didn't mention in that video is making thumbnails or detailed screenshots that you just can't can't pull off in Minecraft, but would be way too inconvenient to use professional grade software to make. And the last item is World Painter. If you want to make large scale custom worlds, this is the program that you want to make that with. Again, I don't have much experience with this program, but the land for my all original survival games map that was on my old Ant Venom server was created using World Painter, and that's the world that you guys are seeing in front of you. So if your next project involves creating a massive custom world, then I would probably give this program a try instead of creating the world block by block because you're going to save a lot of time if you use this one. So yeah, those are five of my personal favorite programs for use with Minecraft. Obviously, there are a ton more tools out there for use with Minecraft, and I also didn't cover any mods or plugins in this list. So if there are any that you'd like to mention, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.